and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best players at each position in Madden 20 right now. Now, guys, if I look a little tired, I had a long night, had to drive really far, had a lot to do last night, so I barely slept. So if I seem tired, guys, spare me the comments. I, I know. I know I'm pretty tired right now. Now, anyways, as you guys know, I do this video here and there. I haven't done one in a little bit, actually, maybe a week or so. And we're going right into the Harvest Promos. I figured this is the best time to go over the last players that are still available that I think are the best in each position. And then, obviously, we could do this video again, like, in a week or so after the harvest and blitz or whatever and go over how things have changed maybe some players still remain as a top player so i think that's pretty interesting to do it's gonna be fun I'm gonna go through each position now obviously not every position gets one card like quarterback will go one card running back i might go two cards because obviously each position has different position depth and how you like to run that wide receiver probably two cards and so on and so forth now guys before we get into the video make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button turn the notify bell boys come join the family and if you guys haven't already smashed that like button you guys have been crazy with the like button lately I've never seen support like this from you guys, so keep it up. As long as you guys keep this up, the channel can only grow and keep doing better. So if you support the channel, always like the video. Like I said, guys, the best feeling ever is always when I post a video and I get like 5, 10, 15, 20 likes and it just spams up. So if you guys can keep that up for me, that's amazing. It really helps me as a content creator. It helps, the and it's the best way to support the channel, guys. That is literally the best thing you guys can do. Now, let's start off with the quarterback. Now, a quarterback, it's kind of a weird take. So I was talking with a few people, doing a little research. And it seems like the best quarterback right now are two people. Now, if you're going price-wise, guys, it's probably Steve Young for the price. If you power him up and chem him up, he ends up with an above 90 throw power with go deep, an above 90 throw short, an above 90 throw mid, and with go deep chem and powered up, he also gets an above 90 throw accuracy deep, and an above 90 throw under pressure, and potentially above 90 throw on the run, and depending on your chems, again, above 90 play action. And he gets escape artist because you'll have an 82 speed. So this car will have almost all above 90 passing stats, depending on how you power him up and chem him up and John Madden. And he has escape artist. So that makes him right there for one of the best quarterbacks in the league or quarterbacks in the game right now. Until they until they release like a Mahomes or Rodgers with it, that's pretty much it. And the only other guy that's comparable, but for a way more price, is gonna be Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck probably is the best quarterback in the game, but he would require a lot more coins. So that's why I give you like the bang for your buck option. Same thing. He's gonna have all above 90 passing stats powered up with escape bars, and it'll even be a little bit faster, but not by much. Now, running back, there's two guys. So, I have to put Clinton Portis in here. You guys have been telling me a lot of good stuff about him and I'm doing some research on the stats. I think him and Saquon Barkley are the two best running backs right now. I think that's subject to change very soon. I think a Barry, an LT, or a Christian McCaffrey card would definitely overtake that. Now, the reason Portis is up there because if you power up and put on, like, uh, what's it called, shaker and stuff on him, you can get him up to, like, a potentially a 92 speed, which would be one of the fastest backs, combined with, like, a 93 Excel. 91 agility you could potentially get his carry to above a 90 decent catching stats good elusiveness good break tackle good truck now i still think the best one for me is still gonna be saquon barkley but clinton portis is definitely up there as more of a speedy back saquon though with that 94 break tackle guys plus all the cams and stuff i promise you he breaks tons of tackles that agility is just quick turning guys saquon for my, my opinion is the best well-rounded back in the game right now again though that's gonna change real soon the next back with like a 92 speed is gonna overtake all of them now fullback Christian Okoye is a monster, obviously. Now, guys, I don't always just do the best player at each at each overall. Trust me. I, I just showed you guys with Steve Young and Luck. I picked guys that aren't like that. And poor, and, uh, Saquon's not the highest overall. This is just before you comment that. And now, Okoye. Okoye is special in terms of how the game plays this year. It's a lot of scum kicking. A lot of short kick ret uh, kickoff returns right to the fullback. A lot of running plays, a lot of lead blocking. So with that high lead block, that high speed, that high impact blocking, guys, I promise you it'll be a difference. And that is the reason why he's going for so much, guys. Trust me, if it was just a fullback and no one cared, he would not be going for as much as he does. Now, wide receiver, I was honestly looking, and Andre Reed is definitely up there. So people were people want Randy Moss, right? And I, I saw a comparison on Twitter. Look at Randy Moss' stats real quick. Oh, powered up and everything, he'd get up probably 92 speed, 91 catch, 91 spec, uh, 92 spec catch. Catching traffic will fall, fall, fall short of a 90, and his route running will all fall short fall short of a 92 besides deep route running now if you come look at andre reed surprisingly first price he will get it also 92 speed and 92 jumping and 91 catch that's similar his catch and traffic will be well above a 92 his spec catch is well above a 90 when all said and done and he'll have a 90 like three short route running and you could potentially even come up to a 90 medium route running so minus the deep route running this card looks like it's overall better if not the same and you still get like a decent six foot two frame 
and decent juke and spin, which Randy Moss does not really come with. And he's only 300k. So I think Andre Reed is definitely up there for one of the best receivers in the game right now. And the only guy that I put above him, if any, is Tyreek Hill. Which, guys, he is an absolute monster with that speed, guys. It's game-breaking. I put change of direction on him. He catches a slant or drag or anything. He can turn it right up field. Tyreek kills game-break. Him and Reed, I think, are the two best receivers. And the only reason I haven't picked up Reed yet, if I obviously do want to wait for the Harvest promo to see what they do end up releasing. Now, tight end. It's going to be George Kittle. It's been George Kittle, guys. Now, you don't have to get his Redux card. His power-up gets the job done, too, which is one I use. But he 85 speed, 84 run blocking. 91 catching. That's all I care about. Now, a close second would be that Evan Ingram signature series. But, obviously, he's LTD and or even a redux but he kind of is a little expensive but also power up and in my opinion power up engram and george kittle are the two best tight ends in the game engram with that like 87 speed which is game breaking tight end and then kittle has the run blocking catching route running and speed at a six foot four frame you can't really deny kittle got it up then now guys lineman i really don't want to put too much time into i'm just gonna say names now lineman i would not go joe thomas too expensive in my opinion the best player that you want to have for the, like th pretty much the way this video works is i'm giving you guys that you could easily slot in for other guys and even save coins at the same time and still have the best players for me it's anthony munoz at left tackle he's just solid you power him up chem him up he'll probably have above 90 pass blocking and close to 90 run blocking for the time being of course now at left guard i'm currently rocking with bruce matthews but it's going to be gene upshaw gene upshaw is a stud he's a monster people complain about his like his, his size which i don't really know how much that factors into it considering how this game plays but powered up and kept up well, well amazing run blocking with close to if not all above a uh, 90 pass blocking cards a monster again not gonna spend too much time on this because it's gonna kill a lot of time on the video for a position that you guys probably don't care about too much now travis frederick best center in the game for me hands down the way i like to play his stats are amazing again all my team powered up and everything he's gonna have above 90 pass blocking besides pass blocking off finesse i believe it's called yeah people people criticize me i say that wrong sometimes and really really good run blocking so travis frederick so far is the best center for me at right guard it's going to be uh what's his name i want to say DeCastro. castro make sure there's a lot of good steel alignment yeah it is david de castro easy easy all above 90 stats if you power him up and even if you don't power him up and you just put cams on him you will have pretty much all above 90 stats and then at right tackle right tackle guys i don't really have an answer there for you guys it's obviously dan diodorf but he's definitely way too expensive for my liking so i definitely just wait uh, if in my opinion i'm waiting for right tackle i still have lane johnson i'm gonna wait until the next promo and see if we get a new studly like studly a new stud right tackle now at left end this one's tough now i don't want to just say this okay so Ed Tutal Jones is a guy that I can't really put there because a lot of you guys have pretty much told me that Ed Tutal Jones does not get the right abilities and that kind of hurts his stock. And for the price and the bang for your buck, guys, a really good option is a guy that I currently use, which would be Cameron Jordan. Cameron Jordan's kind of a stud. I have him powered up. He's really cheap, too. He has 75 speed, 82 excel, 86 tackle, 88 strength, 94 play rec, 87 block shed, 91 power move. Powered up and chemmed up with uh, John Madden rushing. He'll have above 90 block shed, above 90 power move, like a 96, 97 play rec. And he's going to have almost an above 90 strength. And he's going to have decent athleticism. I think he's really well-rounded. Reminds me like a lot of Aaron Donald. And I have him on my team. I personally start him, which says a lot. Like, you know, I have a lot of coins. Obviously, I could use the upgrade. But I feel just fine with what I'm rocking with. And then at right end, guys, obviously, it's Aaron Donald. Now, you guys don't have to actually get the full card. I'm telling you, I rock with the powered up version of him and he does phenomenal for me as you guys see right here his stats are not too far apart you can power up to a 90 and get similar production he's gonna have almost a, du a double move finesse and power almost above 90 if you kept him up you gonna have above 90 block shit above 90 play rec above 90 strength decent athleticism and a good tackle aaron donald's definitely the move at right end and i plan to keep him there all year so once his redux comes out in price i'm obviously making the switch there defensive tackle john henderson's obviously the move now i rock um i believe yeah, michael pierce not that he's better but he's pretty good now the beauty of john henderson despite his athleticism is going to be the tackling is going to be above 90 so he's a secure tackler play rex above 90 solid block sheds good so that means he's, a, he's already a stud run stuffer and then he has, comes with a an 89 power move so powered up or chemmed up he will have that too so he can pass rush which is great because out of defensive tackle position sometimes they're just like golems they just sit there and they wait for a run but john henderson can actually make a move and get to the quarterback and force him to the outside which can disrupt passing plays because up the middle defensive tackles if they can block shed that disrupts everything because the quarterback sits right in the pocket and if they have to run outside they don't have a rushing quarterback that screws them and if even if they do you probably force either an air an errant pass a bad decision a lot of a lot of ways this could go now outside linebacker i'm personally not a fan of this position this year so far nothing too great it comes down to probably khalil mack and von miller but for the price i probably just stick with von miller because von miller is free if you did do your series master and if you did not guys wait for outside linebackers they're crazy expensive i don't really like any of them now i personally want a zone one with decent speed and height but they do not currently have something like that 
you guys can say Kevin Green and stuff, but I think I want something a little, a little bit better than that. You know, for the moment, Von Miller gets the job done. 90 power move, 93 play rec. Powered up in Kevin W's going to have above 90 block shed with great speed. Now, the, my issue is that, as you guys are going to see as I go, is that I can't really use him in the sense that the way you want to use him, which I'll explain in a second. Now, middle linebacker, simple. Middle linebackers, they set it and forget it. Guys, there's like three guys that you want right now. And let's see, let's compare right here so I can show you guys. It's going to be Ray Lewis, Ryan Chazier, and the Devin White Gauntlet Masters. So, Ray Lewis is the best linebacker for me because... He's got the speed this year, which I rarely ever give him. He's got the excel. He's got the strength. He's got the tackle. He's got the play rec. He can run stuff with that 90 block shit, and he can destroy people. I promise you, slants over the middle. Ray Lewis, you either drop it or you're fumbling it. You get hit. It's very rare. You don't. You don't. You hold on to that. And then Ryan Chazier is obviously free, so you can't debate him with a good zone. So even you can even use your Chaz, uh You can use your Lewis this year because Lewis never used to be able to be used because he's too slow. Use your Lewis and let Chazier rock in the zone. And then obviously Devin White has that 88 or 89 speed, so you can always go with him. And now. My reason for outside linebacker right is because, so with my defense, the way I play, I play in a 3-4, and I rush Lawrence Taylor off the edge. So for me, I have Von Miller in a zone, which sucks, which is why I'm waiting for the next great zone linebacker, which I don't think they, I personally don't like the ones they have right now. So I'm waiting for like a, like a Juice Leighton Van Der Esch with 6-4 frame. That would be amazing in the zone. But I personally like Lawrence Taylor as my rushing guy. Guys, he's great now. I'm telling his next card's going to be unstoppable. His next card's going to power up everything, probably get like a 90 speed, a 90 excel, going to have like a 90 strength, a 90 tackle, close to a 90 play rack, 90 block. Should remember if you power and come him up everything, you get even further than that. With power and finesse above 90. The next card's going to be unstoppable. At the moment, he's already amazing. And I like to rush him. Now, if you guys run a double rush scheme, Von Miller and Lawrence should be just fine. But for the way I play, I definitely need a zone linebacker in Von Miller's position. But at the time, I don't really like any of them. Now, cornerback, a lot of options here. But I'm going to go with the ones I have, which is pretty much why I have them. I have, I think that Deion Sanders is hands down the best cornerback in the game, guys. Glitchy interceptions, glitchy animations, always all over the play. And even if people break big plays, Deion Sanders chases them down. Him and Pat Tillman are goons because of their pursuit their speed, their athleticism. And if he gets an interception, guys, it's, he puts it, when he puts it in one hand, it's over. He said it in real life. The second he puts the ball in one hand, that means he's scoring. Deion Sanders is crazy. Fun to play with, too. Good, he can play kick return, punt return. He's a dual threat in multi, he's both sides of the ball. So that's why I like him personally. And then another guy, the second guy's tough, guys. The second guy's preference, I'm not really going to give a second guy, guys. It could be Denzel Ward. It could be Jalen Ramsey. It can even be Pat Peterson. Those are the other three that I like to go with. Now, I personally have done to work as the speed buff and because I got him from the uh, the Nat set. But pay, uh, Patrick Peterson's right there, obviously. I don't have to go too much in that. Patrick Peterson, same thing. Above 90 zone, above 90 press, above 90 speed, above 90 man. Kind of self-explanatory. Now, free safety, guys. Someone that gets overlooked lately. Like, people are always like, oh, should I get this new free safety? Why bother? For 220K, you can get Brian Dawkins. Guys, his stats. What you want in a free safety, right? You want speed, zone, and if you're lucky, hit power. Because typically, if you guys know, free safeties come with zone, catching, small, like Earl Thomas's. That's always been like the kind of free safety that a lot of people have, Devin McCourty's. But Brian Dawkins is like having a strong safety at free safety, which is kind of obvious because in years past, he's been a strong safety. But he has a great speed, great excel, great play rec, above 90 zone, a potentially above 90 pursuit with the right chems, and above 92 hit power. So... You can't really debate Brian Dawkins, guys. And at strong safety, obviously, I'm not even going to go there because it's Pat Tillman. Just power. You, know, I'm not even going to recommend buying one because all you got to do is play the game and get him for free. And then at kicker, Justin Tucker is a monster, guys. Best thing I ever did was buy this Justin Tucker. The improvement in kick power and kick accuracy has been huge for me. A lot less missed kicks. Even when I mess up the bar, the accuracy definitely helps. You can get focus kicker, which slows it down a lot, which definitely helps with latency and lag that I do experience here and there because Madden has been the worst game in years for kicking the whole game could be fine but the kicking bar is so frustrating nothing's worse than missing kicks because of latency so just tucker fills that gap guys and i punter i rock trey way on the redskins now i don't really care for punter honestly punters whatever i obviously want to pick one up at some point but not for the price that they have matt like uh i forget the punters we have but you guys get the point. That is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification boys. This is the final installment before the harvest. So do expect an updated version of this after Harvest and Blitz with all the new players and cards you have in the game. And if you guys haven't already, start running that like button up, boys. Let's get to 300 likes. If you guys start hitting it now, we could potentially get there tonight. So hopefully you guys are hitting it, every single one of you. Don't think your one like doesn't count because if all you guys think that way, we get nowhere. If you all like it, that could be 200 likes right here. I get, I get initially like 300 views in the first 10 minutes. So guys, 
Thank you for all that. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, I can get two more videos out for you guys today, such as the flashbacks, whatever. But this should be one of the second or third videos, so you probably saw that already. But I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.